Number 54. Determine which of the following contains the greatest mass of hydrogen. And then they give you three different um, examples. They got one mole of CH4, 0.6 moles of C6H6, or 0.4 moles of C3H8. And we want to find the greatest mass of just hydrogen. So I have hydrogen. Now the problem here is that all the ones that they gave us, we need, or they gave us, compounds, right? But the question is, which one is the greatest in just a single element? So we should know that how do we go from compounds? So I'll just say, how do we go from a compound to an element, right? Or specifically an atom of something, right? Because an atom is just one single box on the periodic table. We can only go through the unit of moles. So we can go from moles of a compound to moles of the individual element or atom. And all you got to do is just multiply by that element's subscript, how many of that element you have. So that's like the first hidden thing that you have to do here. So let's set all these up. We have one mole of CH4. We have 0 0.6 moles of C6H6 benzene, and we have 0 0.4 moles of C3H8, which is propane. And CH4 is methane, for anyone who, who wants to know. All right, so how do we go from moles of the compound to just moles of hydrogen to each one? Now, I care about hydrogen because... That's the question that they're asking for, right? If they would have said, what's the greatest mass of carbon, then we would go to carbon. But you only go to the element that they ask for. All right. So here, how many hydrogens do we have in CH4? Well, we have four hydrogens, right? So I'm just going to times my mole number, which was one, times it by four. And now you get four moles of hydrogen. One times four is four. Let's do it for the second one. You see it was easy as that, right? How many hydrogens are in the second one? C6H6. Oh, there's six hydrogens, right? So what do you got to do? You're just going to multiply by six. So you start with what you're given, 0 0.6 moles of the whole thing, and you just times it by six. So 0 0.6 times six is 3.6 moles of H. And now, what about the second, the third one, right? Is C3H8. So how many hydrogens? Oh, there's eight. So I would just times this by eight. So 0.4 times by eight is 3.2. Now, we should be able to get the answer from here because the reasoning is the greater the moles, the greater the mass. And you could only make this assumption if you're comparing the same thing. So X, right? The X could be either an element or a compound. But if you have more moles of something, so for example, if you had more moles of hydrogen, right? They're all hydrogen, the greater the mass. So in this case, since there's four moles of hydrogen, I know that this is going to be the answer, right? One mole of CH4 would be the one that contains the greatest mass of hydrogen. But I just want to show you the next step just to double check. We would go from moles to grams. So moles of anything to grams of anything, you always use that conversion one mole of anything equals the molar mass, in gra like in grams per mole, of that compound. And this is using the periodic table. So if I just times this by a ratio, and I put moles of H on the bottom and grams of H on the top, what numbers would go here and what numbers would go here? Oh, well, one mole, because it's literally one mole, right, equals the molar mass which is found on the periodic table. Now here, I put down what you would see on the periodic table if you use the open stacks periodic table. And just know that the mass is always the higher number out of the two. So this would be 1.008. So if you do 
4 times 1.008, you get 4.032 grams of H. And then if you do the same thing for the other two, then you can compare the mass numbers and then you would get the answer. So if you do the same exact conversion factor, one mole of H is 1.008 moles cancels out, right? So 3.6 times 1.008, you get 3.6288 grams of H. So you see how this one is less. And then if you do the same thing, one mole of H equals 1.008 grams of H. If we do 3.2 times 1.008, you get 3.2256 grams of H. So even if you did the, the next step, this would still be the answer. So which of the following contains the greatest mass of hydrogen? One mole of CH4, and that's the answer. All right, so this one was quick and easy. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, click the subscribe button. It not only gives you um, notice when we put out our next batch of questions, but it also helps get the word out to other students who are using the OpenStax textbooks, and we really appreciate that. So if you guys have the playlist on, I'll see you guys in literally five seconds. I'll see you guys for number 55. See you then.